Hi, welcome to Antergos XFCE. This tutorial is about Compton. We're gonna install Compton instead of the XFCE WM manager, which is actually not necessary. I have to point that out that um, the Windows manager for XFCE is rather uh, powerful and, and, and great and functional. You just go to Antergos. I've put all the necessary things you need for window manager here so session startup windows manager tweaks and window manager and i believe it's here that you activate or disactivate the compositing so as you can see the conkey is now no not transparent anymore Control alt t my terminal is not transparent anymore this is the gnome terminal which is transparent in the packer you can install it in the aur you can uh, get it so if you enable display compositing everything looks again transparent here transparent there menus are transparent programs that uh, you can start you know let's start sublime sublime text and put it in here as well keep in dock menus are in this case not transparent so that's good to see or it is, yeah, it is transparent, but it's just not very good to see. But it is transparent. So menus are transparent, um, panels are transparent. Everything is working because of this here and because of X, uh, F, uh, X, F, C, E, W, M, I think it is. Control Shift Escape is one of the shortcuts I've put in here. No, no, it's X, F, W, M, 4, that's the proper name. So that's our display manager that's taking care of all the effects here but what it does not do and that's why Compton may be wanted uh, and that's the shading the fading in and fading out so you can do a lot of things when a, a program is active like so and moving around it's gonna be a bit transparent the title up here is transparent so all these things are in here uh, transparency opacity of inactive I've just done a little bit but you can make it very opaque as you can see here in this example here on the top a very opaque so you can check out this little uh, well tab and you can enable or disable the compositing and check out all the other settings so like I said fading in fading out that's not available if you would like to have that you'll have to use Compt and that's what this tutorial is about so um, i have here a machine that's already running let's try and see if we can wake it up otherwise i'll just show it here and that's um, the idea is to have a compton file in the dot conf dot uh, config is better so this way in the hidden folder dot config you need to have a file so these are all files from here till here all files but we need to have a content.com file you can find lots of them online but i have one in the github antergos xfc4 installation personal settings content content conf control c eric control h and then you find the config control v the content conf has been uh, copy pasted here but that's not enough of course you would have guessed you need to run also the compass uh, program uh, sorry not compass but compton program so this one and it's just installing the compton here we have to install the Compton program, so pacman minus s Compton. There is also Compton Git if you want to try that out. So move the Compton file in the config directory, change to your liking, start Compton in the session and start up. Disable the compositor in the Windows Manager tweaks. Maybe the last one, the most important one. They can't uh, do both the work, so one of them should do it. We enable the display compositing from XFCE. Done. We have installed our .config file here, content.conf 
Now we have to go to the system and we have here this session and startup in the favorites. Application auto start at Compton. What's the description? Compton. And what do you want to do? Start Compton. So that's okay. And if you don't know the switch, that's okay as well. So this is going to be a daemon process. It's going to be in the background. Okay. Now we have added Compton at our boot up. And that's the difference between, of course, uh, elements that are in VirtualBox and that's on a, on a real machine here. Making this tutorial here, the, the, the recording, well, it's, um, I can't log off and log on again. So I'm gonna try and see if it works with the terminal and see if he understands to run it. We're in luck, so everything works, and I can tell you and go on. And the only thing, remember, the only thing was a fading in, fading out. If I close anything, it fades in and it fades out. That's the only difference. So this is all transparent. That's normal that that's not transparent. Conky is transparent. Control Alt T is transparent. You see the fading in and fading out. That's specific. <clears throat> now you can read it here in the Compton.conf. Here are the things for the shadow, till here. Here we start with the opacity, inactive dim, and all that, and here's the fading. So I told fading is true, fade in step, fade out step. You can change the numbers and see what it, how it feels like. And you can exclude some of the things for fading as well. So that's uh, all about Compton. Uh, so if I log off and log on again, it's Compton that's gonna provide this shadow here, the transparency, the fading in now, fading out, dimming in, dimming out. Uh, let's take this one like so, in and out. As you can see, the things that are not active are gonna be transparent. So we arrive at the same result as we would uh, uh, do with XFCE and the Windows Manager from XFCE. And, but the only thing is, well, the fading in and fading out. Enjoy Compton and enjoy Antergos XFCE.